Okay, I've been seeing some videos and talking about cleaning a real rusty grate. So I've already scraped this really bad. It's sitting in my grill for a long time, probably a full year without touching it over the winter. And I scraped some of the really bad rust off already, believe it or not. And um, I just did some salt, put some salt in here. And I had to grind it, so I shot a video and just gonna delete it because no one wants to see me grinding salt for five minutes. Uh, this is what it looked like just for two minutes, or 30 seconds rather. Regular cheap table salt would probably be better. And so now I'm gonna take this vinegar and hopefully my wife has spare for her recipes, but so take this off. And pour this all over. Oh no, I'm gonna have to use the whole half gallon. Oh well, that's that. Woo, is that strong? Oh my word. I didn't like how it was, wasn't touching very good with that one. So let me turn it over. So now more of the grill is touching, touching the water. There's a slight bend to this. So I think I will put a cover on it because <laughs> it smells so strong. And I'm um, gonna let it sit overnight and then do some scraping and we'll see if that takes care of the rust. I kind of don't think it will. I have a little bit of doubt, but that's what the video is for to find out right all right see you in the morning all right it's a real windy day but i let my grill grate sit overnight in the vinegar mixture and uh, it definitely took some rust off um the water is very rusty so now i'm gonna do some scrubbing and um, whew, it smells strong. Gonna do some scrubbing and uh, maybe a quick rinse, but then uh, another video I saw warned about uh, taking the water off of it or rinsing it with water and letting the water sit on, sit on the grill. They just said it was just gonna make it rust again. So probably what I'm gonna do is when I get done with this is um, go ahead and it's looking pretty good actually okay now the the rust is actually just wiping off so where there was yeah it's cleaning up a lot better than I thought it would so this is uh, about a half a gallon of vinegar and then a whole I don't know, maybe half a cup of salt. Um, part of it, the salt reacts with the vinegar, but also it helps in the scrubbing of what I'm doing now. So it's coming off pretty good. Um, tough to see with this light, but like I said, it's surprisingly, the rust is really coming off better than I thought it was going to. So. Yeah, this is a win. I'll remember this one. First time I've ever tried it with vinegar. Like I said, what I'm gonna do when I get done with this is I'm probably gonna give it a quick rinse with water, let it sit in the sun to dry as fast as possible. Um, but then I'm gonna coat it with a very light, light coat of uh, a vegetable oil or olive oil or something like that. The whole idea with this is I haven't grilled using this grill in a year. So this grill has just sat for a really long time. I got another, picked up another cheap grill and I've just been using that. This is really from my, uh, the knockoff egg thing. Um, and I bought some new pans to go with it and hope to do some grilling and smoking this weekend. So yeah, I'm again, pleasantly surprised. Here you can see all the brown up here. Okay, some of that staying, but 
some of it's coming off. It just looks way better. It had mold on it and rust and uh, now I feel comfortable after those other steps, go ahead and grill the meat on it. I bought a new Weber pan for doing vegetables and I'm gonna try those later today too. Probably tomorrow, honestly. But that's it. It's looking pretty good. This is as, this is the bad one. And again, tough to see with the light. But let me do a few. I was gonna stop the video, but I haven't really got this one yet. And this is kind of the worst one because I didn't pre-scrape this one, if you will. Yeah, so you can tell here it says char griller. So kind of an egg knockoff, but it does a pretty good job. Vinegar smell is very strong and I just splashed some on my face. <laughs> but it's cleaning up. It's, uh, I didn't think just a video. I did a video of uh, last year of trying to use some kind of paste, a baking soda paste and whatever, to clean the oven, to clean the oven doors. And uh, that was a total failure. That stuff did not work at all. I ended up buying a spray can of Easy Off, and man, did that work good. That just took off the stuff. So that one, I can guarantee does not work. That's using a baking soda and a paste to clean an oven door. That was just a waste of time and energy. Use easy off. But for this, this vinegar, whole half gallon, gallon of vinegar on your rusty grill grate, um, that's definitely a win. So that's how it's looking now. It's looking pretty good. Thanks.